So good morning everybody. Good morning. So today I am going to discuss about a very important topic in the part of class talk. In the part of class talk. Under the course of diploma course in guidance and guidance and counseling conducted at the RIA Mysore of NCERT. So today my topic is before going to announce my topic. I will uh, pleasure to introduce you myself. I am Prabhakar Reddy. This is DC 20, 22, 28 with register number. Now I am going to distribute the handout of class. This is the handout. Handout of the class. So I am going to distribute the handouts. See the handouts. Each and everybody will get the handouts, no problem. So much of handouts are there. We will distribute that. Okay? So much of handouts are there. Now, see here. This is the class class submitted to our Professor C.G. Venkatesha Murthy Varu, Dr. Manjulai Madam and Dr. Chandranagar and myself and Prabhakar Reddy by Rishan Amaris Pandyayach. So I am going to present a topic on the significance of a balanced diet in adults. Significance of balanced diet in adults. So imagine you are in 8th class. This is the perfect age of adults. Jaya Jaya Kalika's age. Of course we will discuss the characters of the adolescents also in this. So our time is 40 minutes as a today date and our venue is JPSS Young J. Pali, Kamal Pali Mandal of Common District and our number of students total 45, 8th class English. So our area, food and health, we are going to discuss about these four dimensions. Balanced diet, components of balanced diet, sources of balanced diet, and effects of balanced diet. Okay? Next. Okay. See here, what is meant by actual adolescence? Adolescence is a transitional stage of physical and psychological development that generally occurs during the period from puberty to adulthood. Generally, by birth, we know the baby is a male and female. But remember, in the lower classes, like first and second class, the voices of boys and girls same as we know. Is it right or not? Yes. The first class, for example, even though if you contact your classmate in first and second class, her voice or his voice, we don't know. Okay. And if you wear a dress, similar dress, we don't find any difference. But at the age of adolescence, the secondary sexual characters and growth and development takes. This is the age for the rapid growth and development. Rapid. Adolescence is usually associated with the teenage years, but its physical, psychological, or cultural expressions may begin earlier and end later. Here, our physical development. Imagine when you are in first class. What is your uh, uh, actually your height? Maybe this much. Now you are grown like this. Okay. It means physical growth and development age. At the same time, what about our maturity levels, our psychological development, our emotional development, our social development also growth uh, takes place during this age. For example, at the age of uh, below first, uh, first class up to three to four years, if you go for a child, and ask if you want chocolate, yes, I want chocolate. How many chocolates you want? Why because that baby doesn't know the number. But then come to after your class, if you want chocolate, yes. 
How many you say ten, twelve, you say number? It means how to behave with others, how to behave culturally, how to behave socially. These, all these we are learned a lot. This is the growth and development. And academically, socially, mentally, psychologically, physically, growing takes place rapidly during this adolescence. See here. Generally during the adolescence, this is a transitional age, a mixed age. Some persons say that, for example, if you are this age, you are not old enough. For example, you are going to take a decision. Your parents, what your parents say? You are not old enough. You are a child. So it's standing like this. When you go for playing, you are too old to play. Some other children say that, are you a kid? No. Are you a kid? No. You are old enough. So, from kids and children, this type of comment will appear. Yes. From elders, this type of comment appears. So, during the adolescent age, this is a typical age. Okay. Adolescence is the stage of rapid growth and development. The diet for an adolescent has to be carefully planned. Here we are. Why? Why? Because adolescence is the date, stage of our age of rapid growth and development. Whenever the rapid growth and development takes place, we must require more and more energy. For the purpose of energy, we must intake some so the diet or food for an adolescent has to be carefully planned. Taking healthy and nutritive food is very important. Okay. See here. Whenever we are going to discuss about the food, so many food items are available around us. In your house, from your kitchen, while your mom preparing so many types of foods. When we are going to a market, so many types of foods are available and seen in the market and in some shops. Okay. Why we take food? Anyone? Why we take food? Anyone? For energy. For energy. For energy. Very good. So we are doing so many activities daily. So many metabolic activities takes place in our body internally. So for this reason, we must take food. Okay. What is healthy food? Now tell me. So many types of food items are available in the market, are in the shops, are in the bakeries, are in the our from our kitchen, from our uh, mother preparing. So according to your view. What is healthy food? Vegetables. Any food. one, 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 Okay, so when we are going to discuss about what is a healthy food, what is a healthy food? Is it enough to take only one? For example, see what is your favorite food? Just to be a confirm for a few friends, what is your favorite food? Meat. What is your favorite food? So many? <laughs> don't laugh, don't laugh. Uh. Meat. What is your favorite food? Meat. Meat. Are you taking favorite food? food? What you are eating very nearly? So what is your favorite curry? Uh. Chicken curry. Chicken curry. And everyone having his own favorite dish. Someone fish, someone chicken biryani, someone mutton, someone fruit, someone bitter someone uh, anything like that. Okay? 
So, here, why do you like it? We are having our own interest. Okay, his only favorite book is sufficient to tell him. For example, if one person interests her favorite food is fish or chicken biryani, if he eat daily chicken biryani, is it enough for growth and development? No. Okay, we know that these food items, even though our favorite food item is there, but that only favorite food item is not enough for our growth and development. Not only growth and physical growth and development, social, psychological, emotional. Okay. So here, do you know the essential components of it? Generally, during the rapid growth and physical growth and business during the adolescence, during this adolescence, do you know about which food do you take for your healthy diet or healthy growth and growth? Do you know? See here. Carbohydrates, proteins, fats, vitamins and minerals are the essential components of our food. We call them nutrients. We call them nutrients. Besides this, water is also important. Of course, even though our favorite dish is there for you, but we want to balance all these food components or all these nutrients in our in our food. Okay. The food that contains all the the food that contains all which all as we discussed all the food components. Are we discuss all the nutrients? Which nutrients like carbohydrates, proteins, fats, vitamins and minerals and the fiber in a proper proportion is called the balance fat. So first of all, we must understand the concept of balance fat. Balance that means not the mixture of all these uh, general mixture of all these food components. Balance that means this is a proper proportion. For example, how much food components, sorry, how much percentage of carbohydrates should be there in our food? How much percentage, how much proportion of fat must be there in our food? How much proportion of proteins must be there in our food? Okay. Generally, we know that the proportion of carbohydrate is more than the proteins. Proteins are more than the fats. And of course, you must add vitamins and minerals and fiber also. Vitamins and minerals and fiber also. Okay. So, how we get these components when we discuss? But first of all, we must know about there is a proper proportion of mi blend mixture is there that food components mixture and blending is called a balanced diet. Okay. Make your diet a balanced one. How to make our diet as a balanced one? How to make? See here. Taking green salads and vegetables every day. Taking foods like cereals, pulses, milk, etc. adequately and sufficiently plenty. Taking a bit of fat, that means oil, ghee, butter, etc. Eat seasonal fruits, whatever fruit available in which season. You eat, you consume that fruit. It will boost our immunity. It will give us vitamins and minerals. For example, some misconceptions are there. For example, uh, it is heat to eat mangoes in summer. Of course, mangoes are available in summer only. Some persons don't eat mangoes. That means you should boil heat. So many misconceptions are there. So you do not uh, forget about the misconceptions. Eat seasonal foods. For example, guava is available in the winter season. Someone says, if we eat guava, some cold, it will affect. That's wrong. 
Okay. Don't forget to supplement your daily diet with green salads and vegetables. So this will lead to our fulfilling the needs and requirements of the balance of diet. Source of food. So we know that for our adolescence, proper growth and development, we must require a balanced diet. In the balanced diet, some food components are there. How to take that food components or what are the sources of the food components? Sources. Okay. So to take carbohydrates, imagine you have to take carbohydrates. What to eat in our food? What to take in our food? Grains such as bread, noodles, pasta, crackers, salads, and rice. If you take this one, so we are taking carbohydrates. Proteins, you want to take proteins. Animal based foods, meat, poultry, fish, eggs, and dairy foods. Plant based foods are fruits, vegetables, grains, nuts, and seeds. Particularly in pulses. Do you know the language popular? Pulses. So pulses are rich in proteins. Rich in proteins. Next batch. One is protein, ghee, butter, cheese, oil. Someone they are adding sweets in their lunch and dinner. Those contribute fats. Those contribute to fats. Next vitamins and minerals. Vitamins and minerals and fiber both available from vegetables, leafy vegetables, fruits, whole nuts, etc. So these are the sources of balanced diet. Remember that in the adolescent stage you must take the balanced diet. First thing, second thing in the balanced diet there is a proper proportion of food components. Proper proportion. Not a general proportion as you mix. Okay. Do you know which foods are to be eaten moderately, adequately, plenty and style? This is very much important. Adolescents like you. Which food do we have to take plenty, sufficient, others, which quantities? That foods like cereals. Pulses, milk, etc. should be taken adequately, plenty and sufficiently. Okay. Fruits, leafy vegetables and other vegetables should be used in plenty. Cooking oils and animal foods should be used moderately. Very generally in less quantity than the above. Manaspati, ghee, butter, cheese must be used in sparingly, rarely, rarely. It means they will contribute to the fats. Whenever we are working or physical working very hard, then only we will take the fats in high quantity. If not, this quantity is balanced diet is cheap eating. Whenever we are discussing about the balanced diet, of course, adolescents and children, you and your parents you must be educated in this regard. This class talk, not only for you, for your parents, for your neighbors also. You must educate them. 70% of the malnutritious diseases caused by the balance, the lack of balance. So, whenever they must imagine that, oh, we must take balanced diet. It means balanced diet is very costly. That is a misconception. Balanced diet is actually very cheap. Making our food is a, as a balanced diet is very much cheap. How? Scientists have found out that a balanced diet need not necessarily be costly. Everyone can afford it, even the poor. If a person eats dal, dal means pulses, popul, rice, lotus, green vegetables, little oil, little oil, and jaggery, jaggery, bellum, 
तेलुगु डायलॉग जाते हैं ऑल द फूड रिक्वायरमेंट्स ऑफ द बॉडी ऑफ समवन सेज दैट समवन कुकिंग करी दे आर फ्राइंग डीप फ्राइंग इन ऑयल द मिसकंसेप्शन इज दैट व्हेन वी आर डीप फ्राइंग द करी इन आवर ऑयल देयर विल बी दिस इज द रिच एंड गुड फूड दैट्स नाउ जस्ट सी हियर राइस दाल रोटी सब बेस्ट है बिल्कुल करी दैट्स इनफ दिस विल फुलफिल आवर बैलेंस एफेक्ट्स ऑफ द टॉप सी हियर व्हेन एवर वी आर टेकिंग पार्ट टू हैव डेट्स दे विल गिव अस इंस्टेंट एनर्जी बाय टेकिंग कार्ब हाइड्रेट्स दे विल डाइजेस्ट वेरी इजीली एंड दे विल गिव अस इंस्टेंट एनर्जी proteins as we know proteins are the building blocks of our body for our proper purpose of physical growth and development proteins are very much required is it right next facts gives more energy whenever we are doing very physical hard work physical hard work if we require more energy then some person takes fats they gives more energy Vitamin C minerals to keep us healthy, for immune boost, for a disease resistance, power also uh, increased by this vitamin C minerals and fiber. They remove constipation. If any undigested material is there, it will be removed very smoothly from his uh, disposed very smoothly from his body. When when we take adequate amount of fiber only. Okay. It is important to take balanced diet for overall growth and development during adolescence. So this is our conclusion. For our overall growth and development, what we have to take? What we have to take? Balanced balance. diet. In balanced diet, the proper proportion of food components are there. And we must take the balance diet for our smooth growth and development. Right? What will happen if we do not take the balance diet? Up to now we discussed about the need, necessity, source, and concept of balance diet. Now tell me, what will happen? Even though we understood about the, if during adolescence balance diet is very much required. But some person says, "Why if you do not take the balance diet, what will happen? What will happen? See here, lack of balance diet leads to malnutrition. Lack of balance diet leads to malnutrition, poor nutrition. Our diet should be a balanced one, which contains proper amount of carbohydrates, proteins, vitamins, mineral salts, and fats." But lack of balance of diet leads to malnutrition. What type of malnutrition? Malnutrition may be protein malnutrition, calorie malnutrition, protein and calorie malnutrition. It means so many types of malnutritional diseases are there. We are going to discuss about one to two. Okay. This is due to malnutrition. This is due to. This is not a contagious disease. Until we are calm. This disease due to malnutrition is not due to balanced diet. He is suffering with. This disease is partial. This is partial. This is due to protein deficiency in diet. Body parts become smaller due to accumulation of water in the intercellular spaces. Very poor muscle development, swollen legs, floppy face, difficult to eat, diarrhea, dry skin are the symptoms of this. Imagine, he looks like a very fat person, but this is not proper growth and development. This is the body swollen. Body swollen. Why? When the proteins are available, 
proper margin and low term development is no proteins. So there is a gap. There is a yeah. gap. So what are accumulated in that? No proteins. That gap is filled by water. So the body is swollen. See here. Megastrus. What is this? Is? Yeah. Poorly nourished. Poorly yeah. nourished. This is due to deficiency of growth, proteins and calories. No carbohydrates are there. No proteins are there. The person is very poor. Poorly nourished. Generally, this species occurs when there is an immediate second pregnancy or repeated childbirth. Lean and weak, less developed muscles, dry skin, diarrhea, etc. are the symptoms of the disease. Okay, so, see, this is one more obesity. One more, uh, of course, this is related to malnutrition, not uh, poorly nourished. This is highly available of Highly? See, apart from the deficiency diseases, those two are deficiency. One minute. Those two are deficiency. But here, the constant intake of high calorie food. Vashyantra and Manasmus is the malnutrition. But this is not malnutrition. This is, see this one. He is taking not to balance that. As we said, balancing that means a proper proportion of food components. But he is taking high calorie value of food. May lead to a condition called obesity. In this condition, a person gains extra fat and becomes overweight. Obesity, obese children suffer from problems related to cardiovascular, renal and gallbladder cancer. In future, obesity children face so many problems. So many problems. So, avoid each other. It means, balance diet. If you are taking not balance diet, means you are taking some other food. Maybe that is junk food. Maybe that is junk food. So avoid junk foods and take only balanced diets. Okay. Avoid junk foods. Why? If you are eating only pizzas and sandwiches daily, what will happen? Some persons, there is a bad habit to take high caloric value of food. Even though they are not working physically, they are not working physically. Some persons eat and digest all types of food, hard foods also. Why? Because they are working physically on the ground, to the fields. But we are simply eating and sitting in the classrooms. Even though some metabolic activities are taking place in our body, even though we have some learning, by participating in some learning activities, this much of high calorie hot food is not required. But some persons for a passion, for a change, for the friendship, for other reasons, for a status symptom, some persons take these types of things. Pizzas, sandwiches, burgers and so many things. So, if you are taking only this types of food, what will happen? Your body is being deprived of the other food substances. So, your body, your digestive canal, your elementary canal is just habituated to take that type of food only. If you take healthy food also, it is not acceptable. Like fruits, vegetables, Leafy vegetables are very good, as we know. If we take the fruits also, our body does not accept it. Why? Because it is habituated for all these bad foods. Imagine, for example, a person is doing some uh, bad things. If we say, oh, don't uh, 
Or it is like this, this is a bad. You don't? Listen to your words. Like that, your body, if you constantly eat this type of food, your body is not, is habituated to that type of food only, that is accepted, that does not accept it to healthy food also. Very dangerous situation. Junk food causes damages to our digestive system. Why because, remember, your mother prepared a nice food. You consume today. What about tomorrow? Maybe some sort of spoil. What about after two days? Even though your mummy prepared very much care with love and affection, your favorite chicken. But after three days, what will happen about the curry? Spoil. After five days? Rotten and decomposed. But remember, these junk foods prepared and packed one week, ten days, fifteen days ago. Even though you are eating by purchasing them, by eating by purchasing them. It means for the preservation, they add some chemicals. They may damage our digestive tract. Remember this point. All that all sense. You must listen. You must aware. You must. Aware your neighbors and your parents also. Okay? It is better to avoid eating junk food. Why to take, why to purchase the junk food? Why to eat the junk food? And why to harmful our body? So it is better to avoid junk food. So once again, summarize as key points what we have discussed up to now. As we discussed about the concept of balance to diet. Are you understood about the concept of balance to diet? Yes, the proper proportion of food components. Components of balance to diet. Anyone? Anyone? Please be able to tell about the components of balance to diet. Anyone? What are the components of balance to diet? Any of the balance to diet. Carbohydrates? Carbohydrates? Any one, any one. Stand, Tell me. What are the food components of balance diet? Carbohydrates, fats, proteins, vitamins, and minerals. Fibers. 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 Sources of plants, as we know, carbohydrates available from rice, nuts, etc., and proteins available from as you know, so. Effects of balanced diet and balanced diet versus malnutrition. These are the topics we discussed up to now. Lack of balanced diet leads to malnutrition. Okay. Anyone? What did you understand by the term of balanced diet? Balanced diet means? Anyone? Yeah. Proper proportion of food components. Eating the proper proportion of food components. Right. What are the components of balanced diet? Just now, Sarkita said. List out the sources. As you know. Next. See here, here is a diagram. A picture is there. By eating potatoes, see here, by eating potatoes, which food component we will take? Potatoes, potatoes. Carbohydrate. Only uh, pindi, carbohydrates. Okay. By eating leafy vegetables. Which good component? Leafy vegetables. Proteins. Fiber. Vitamins and minerals. By eating fruits. Vitamins and minerals. Fiber also. By taking oil. Fats. By taking oil, by taking fats. Okay. By taking carrot. Proteins. 
So like that, make a list of items from this picture. So we completed the topic about significance of balance of writing and all the signs. And to the 8th class English student students and JPS is NJ Pali. And one more small uh, issue is that this is your feedback. Your feedback. I will distribute you these feedback forms to each and everyone. Each and everyone. See here. What is the significance of balance and diet in adolescent topic? Useful for you. Is the topic useful for you? Is it useful or not? Yes. Useful. Very good. So was the topic introduced to Dr. Preki? If it is the topic understood by you or not? Yes. Dr. Preki, let us know. Okay. What is the significance of parents and diet in adolescent topic? Is interesting for you? Yes. Is this type of topic interesting for you or not? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Content of the interview. Like this, so many questions are there. You just write your signature or your comments in here and one two three four five rating scale is there five is the highest one is the highest if you tick for five it is excellent four very good good average yeah. okay next you put your signature here your comments okay oh, oh. So this is about my class talk under the fulfillment of diploma coaching guidance and counseling, which is conducted by the RIU Marshu under NCERT. Myself, I'm Prabhakarendi, DCGC 2022-28. Thank you. Thank you very much.